Hey queens, I hope you're having a lovely day. Please excuse the mess in the back. I don't have my life together right now, so. Uh, basically my life has not stopped during the whole like quarantining and stuff. I'm still working. I'm working 20 hours as my case manager job, which is my original position. And then I'm working um, three to two eight hour shifts at the inpatient hospital, which I just got approved for my transfer today. yippee ki yay So things have been still just crazy around in my life. Uh, there is a hair in my lash. And I can't find it. Did I get it? Oh my god. Oh, yikes. <sighs> okay, so anywho. Things just have not slowed down for me and it's been really hard to film, to edit. I'm just extremely exhausted all the time. <sighs> so, I don't even have things together for this video. You know what? Okay. We're just going through my empties and finally throwing them in the trash. And I am doing this very late, so, um... Sorry, not really. <laughs> First up, I have a Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. This is my makeup remover that I, I, I only use this one. If you have any recommendations, you know, leave them down below. But this is the one I use. I like it a lot. I don't feel like it clogs up my pores or anything. So I will, I did repurchase it. So. Um have two sheet masks here. I have the I'm Hemp sheet mask that's supposed to be calming and the I'm Lotus mask sheet that is supposed to be eliminating. Both from Tony Moly. And I like Tony Moly. I always want to say Tony Moly. Um, basically, I love these. They're good. They're nice. I, I, I purchased some after I knew I was going to get some in my boxy charm, so... This thing has literally gotten everywhere. This is the Cacao Coffee Scrub from Frank Body. I love Frank Body's Coffee Scrub. I feel like it's been the best to combat my body acne um, and just keep my skin tone regulated. Um, my arms get like really red from the acne and so this just helps keep it clear and stuff. Same thing with my thighs, I think, as well. So, love this stuff. Not my favorite scent. I think the original has got to be my favorite so far. I just, all the other ones, I'm like, mm, mm. Anywho. Okay. Next, we have the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence from Touch and Soul. If you've been watching since the beginning, you know. This is one of my favorite primers, so. And I was able to repurchase it. Boom, it's not available on Ulta, so I'm gonna be working up them points. I missed. Next covered in coffee scrub is the Elf Supertone. Elf Supertone. Okay, it's a toner with brightening fruit acids. I did enjoy this a lot. It took me forever to go through just because I would forget to use it sometimes because I just recently added toner into my routine. Um, I did like it. it. Smells like lemons. And I felt like it did a really good job of like fully cleaning out my pores when my cleanser was maybe not doing its job. Next, we have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Um, so, for the longest time, this was my Holy Grail foundation. I loved it more than anything. Yes, the end is cut off because you can't access all the foundation, but you can only have it open for the one-time use. You can't, like, continuously reach in there because the formula will change. Um, but... It's no longer my holy grail because I no longer purchase Too Faced products. Um, I'm choosing 
other brands to buy from. And I found other another foundation that I think is absolutely beautiful and isn't $40. So, that's the tea. Next we have the Bare Minerals Pureness Soothing Light Moisturizer with Coconut and Prickly Pear. I got this from Influencer, and I also had the cleanser and I didn't mind it um, when I ran out of the cleanser I just ended up using this as a neck cream it has coconut in it so I'm kind of just weary of coconut just because it can be so clogging of my pores my pores are huge dude they're huge I gotta be aware of it so um, I didn't I don't think I saw an issue with my pores when using these I think I'm just choosing to be picky and there's nothing wrong with being picky. Next, <laughs> next, this is the Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptides Serum. It smooths and firms. Um, here's the deal. Got this in BoxyCharm. It's $98 retail. And I was like, oh, this has got to be a sham. I went through it in a month. I like it a lot. I at first did not see a difference in my forehead wrinkles and then over time they reduced. But would I pay $98 for another bottle of this? No. I'll just wrinkle up and die. So this, I plan on doing a skincare review of this because I bought a set. Um, this was part of the set. This is the Earth to Skin Honey Manuka Cleanser. So it's to be calming, moisturizing, and soothing. This cleanser was uh, thick. She was thick. Like honey thick, like legit. Felt like I was putting honey on my face. Anywho. Um, the only thing I didn't like is what, is you had to put it on dry first and then like rub it in. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to kick you. My legs are long. Uh, you had to like do your face dry first and rub it in and then rinse it off. And I don't like that because I like to wash my face in the shower every night. I wash my face every morning too, but when I shower... At night, I wash my face in the shower, and it just kind of ruined the flow of my routine. So, there's that. But, I mean, the formula wasn't terrible. It wasn't magical. I won't repurchase the cleanser. Gosh, everything's covered in coffee. This next thing is, well, the last thing is the Skin Food Lemon Mask, and it's supposed to be brightening. This was like a gel formula and it smelled like lemons. Didn't see a difference in it. So would I repurchase it? No. And besides, I got it from TJ Maxx. So I was just like, oh, skin food. Let me get it. It was okay, I guess, but I mean, it wasn't life changing or anything. So That is that. Um, cool. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Well, first of all, I hope you like Inti's videos. I do. And it makes me feel good when I see at the end of each month like that I'm getting through products and I'm not just hoarding stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos too. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell because you want to see next month's empties. They'll get up eventually. They might be late, but they'll get up eventually. Hit the like button. Throw down some comments if you got some concerns, suggestions, advice, whatever. And, um, have a good one now.